Oh, there is a question online. Um, so Scott uh, Sakai uh, asks, uh, VPN, use a VPN so your ISPs don't uh, tamper with your traffic. Uh, and VPN says we tamper with your traffic, but it's okay because you can turn it off. Okay, so this is not the question. I think it's more, it's a, more comment. of a comment. But I agree with that. It's um, yeah, and, and they say you know like for the DOH example, um, they say that we actually turn off DOH so that we can tamper with your DNS or like you know do filtering for for um, for the user. So yeah, it's. Um, that's kind of counterintuitive. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so while maybe others are thinking about questions, um, I wanted to ask a question. So first of all, I think that this is great um, since, uh, you know, uh, it's very uh, disheartening to see that, you know, users have some expectations which in practice are not met. Um, and it's good that uh, you work with the consumer reports, you know, but moving further, right, most of the users, I don't think that they're aware of VPNs. Um, definitely my parents have no idea, right? And so how do you see this work moving forward to really either notify, uh, you know, the users or maybe propose some solutions of or some configuration changes? Right. Um, yeah, that, that's that's a great question, and that's actually like um, one of the reasons that we worked with consumer reports because uh, for the first article, if you look at it, it's uh, like should you use a VPN? You know, like um, the marketing around VPNs by VPN providers is um, most of the time malicious, or you know, it's really aggressive and trying to get you to subscribe. Uh, but uh, do, you, do you users really realize the situations where they actually need to use a VPN? That's one um, one thing that we wanted to work with uh, consumer reports for. And the other thing about uh, um, informing users about you know what um, default configurations are and what you need to turn on if these are your you know threat models, uh, that's a really good question and that's something that I want to work on. Um, and I hope that VPN providers you know listen to something some investigation like this and say that okay we need to like have a wizard that users can use to basically uh, turn on the settings that are you know uh, relevant to them. Um, and also things like uh, Security Planner by Consumer Reports um, tries to help users kind of go through this by um, kind of uh, making them think about what their threat model is and then coming up with steps to, uh, you know, how, how to secure yourself in those kind of situations. Yeah. Other questions? Okay, we'll, I'll go there and then I'll come back. Um, thanks for a very nice talk. You mentioned that some VPN providers had different results with different servers. Do you have an example of that, and why would that be the case? Yeah, so um, again, a lot of things that we measure for the security and privacy essentials are network specific. For example, RPKI validation or like the DNS servers that you actually connect to um, will either support DNSSEC validation or not. So it depends on what, what server you connect to on the VPN um, application itself. So we didn't try to um, like exhaust uh, all of the VPN servers in every application. We just tested a few of them, uh, most of the time with the fastest so that you can, you know, uh, it kind of simulate how a user would use it. Um, but that, that's the reason we say that. And uh, some of the things are uh, specific to servers, but things like the tunnel failure and stuff, it's just for the application. So it, that wouldn't matter what server you connect to. Yeah. So I just wanted to uh, read one more comment online. Mm -hmm. It's from Frederick Stromberg. Uh, and he says, don't worry, we're paying attention. Cheers. And he is a co-founder of Mulvad VPN. Yes. So maybe this is, uh, thank you. And maybe this, you have a question? Oh, yeah. excellent. Yeah. So hi, Ritika. Um, great work, great presentation. I just thought you might want to put in a quick plug for your uh, presentation tomorrow on the experimental work at the laser workshop. Yeah, uh, please attend the talk if you're around for the laser workshop. I'll be presenting how we developed the VPN laser tool and uh, the, the, the process of like experimentation um, and yeah, designing the tool basically. So yeah, it'll be um, in the second session, I think, tomorrow uh, at laser. So yeah. Thank and we you. should all read the paper to see what VPN we should uh, choose. <laughs> or run the tool to see which VPN you should choose. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, the beta. Oh, one more question and then we're moving mm -hmm. to the next talk. Hi. Uh, Oh, this is loud. Um, do you see the fix? Because uh, many of these VPN providers, they're implementing technologies necessarily that, you know, uh, do you see the fix, uh, the problem more of an implementation of the technologies or is the tech itself? Right. Um, yeah, I would say um, most of the issues that we find are in the implementation level uh, because uh, some of the things are not protocol. This is basically protocol agnostic. 
Um, and most, most of the time, the problems lie in the implementation. And uh, we had a special emphasis on cross-platform and having the tool be available for like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, because the implementation varies between the uh, OSs as well. So there are some issues and some features that are only um, available for certain things, and uh, they're implemented differently. Um, but yeah, that's the short answer. One more question uh, online. Um, were there um, any underlying implementations, for example, OpenVPN, IPsec, WireGuard, universally problematic regardless of the VPN provider? That's, that's a good question. Um, that's something, uh, like I said, it, the, the tool is um, uh, protocol agnostic. We don't specifically test for um, issues for only one particular protocol or you know, versus another. Um, but I would say that uh, we tested a whole, um, like 80 VPNs with all different types of protocols. And I don't think I can say only one of them was um, you know, uh, particularly problematic, but we did test all of them. So we have results from you know, all the different types of protocols. So we need to read the paper. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah.